Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to take a have a Shem, you have a shad by Shem Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders wa Akim Aqua and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson that I want to bring out of a uh, Habakkuk 2 and verse 1 through verse 3. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. And this is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, and I will stand upon my watch and set upon the tower and I will watch to see uh, what I will say unto me, what I shall answer when I reprove. Habakkuk 2 and verse 2. And the Lord Yahweh thy power answer me and say, write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that read of it. Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for the point of time, but at the end it shall speak. And not lie, thou tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, and it will not tarry. Right? And that goes into the, uh, during Habakkuk times, you know. So the vision is yet for the point of time, but at the end it shall speak. So we're living in the modern days of Habakkuk as well, too. So the vision is yet from the point in time, but at the end shall speak not like Terry. Wait for it because it will surely come. Especially these uh, increasing biblical signs and these uh, prophecies. It's not going to tarry because it will surely it will come, you know. So definitely in these modern day times, the vision is yet from the point in time, but at the end it shall speak. Right. The end is speaking with these increasing uh, biblical signs and these increasing prophecies. And these prophecies that's come to pass and be fulfilled and these increasing biblical signs that we're seeing as well too so definitely the vision is yet from the point of time but at the end shall speak now terry wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry so with that this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, habakkuk 2 and verse 1 through verse 3 and that was the title of the sit down lesson so with that i'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to take a howl by hashem yahweh shai by hashem akarkadash Shalom to the uh, elders for Akim or Akwaf. Until the next time, I will say uh, Shalom and uh, the Heavenly Father, the true name is like Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Baha Shem, and the name Hamashiach Yahushah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash Lahutam. Until the next time, I will say Shalom and Barakatham to the uh, elders for Akim or Akwaf, and Shalom.